Okay, so let's take a look at section 5.3. And 5.3 is basically about, you know, how to read a flowchart with functions and, or a hierarchy chart, structure chart. So we'll see that in just a second. Uh, but I wanted to just very quickly go over this. This is a, just a short section of the book. But if you were trying to read a flowchart or design a flowchart, that had a function in it, we're gonna see a few things. So uh, the flowchart symbol that you're gonna use is a rectangle with vertical bars on each side, and you'll see an example in just a second. Um, you're gonna write the function name in the symbol just like the other ones. Um, anytime you have a, a, an, another function, you know, if you have one, two, three functions or whatever, you'll have your own flowchart for each one of those functions. And you'll see a uh, terminal symbol at the end that just says return on it to go back to the uh, main. Uh, and then uh, of course we go top down just like everything else. So let's take a look at an example. Um, here is one, and in this example, we have, you can see main here, and then we, we've seen this kind of stuff before, but here's an example of the function. So here we go with a rectangle with vertical lines. Uh, so when it gets to this point, boom, it's going to run message, drops it in over here, it will run this, return comes back here and finishes here. Okay, so that's a, just an example of a flow chart. The, Hierarchy charts, let me put that on here. So sometimes known as a structure chart. Uh, we have, these are shown like this. I'll skip this so you can check that on your own, but let's go ahead and, and take a look at this. And um, we start out with main, and then you see all the functions that, that can be called here. So we have different ones, and again, it works its way top down as it goes through and does these. So you can see that you even have, if you have functions inside another function, uh, you know that, that you can call so you've got those in there and I want to show you one of the main reasons why I wanted to, to put this in here was I wanted to show you this program and so here's just a really simple little hierarchy chart for this uh, where we are disassembling a laundry dryer so here we go we've got main we've got five functions here startup message step one through four okay and this kind of describes it here so if we take a look at the code here is the program. Okay, so I wanted you to see this, and the link is in there. So here we have what, we have main, and then you'll see each one of these startup message, step one, step two. All these are being defined, and then finally at the very bottom, main is run. So if I say visualize, and we've got this little piece on here, I'm going to say next. So watch where it goes from there. There goes main. There's startup message one, and you notice these are appearing over here. Here's two. It'll skip to three. So now it's on, uh, on there, just put step two in there from here. Now it's coming, going to read in this line. So four and five, and then we're going to, or I'm sorry, uh, we start a message. So one through four, and then it goes ahead and um, runs main here. And now it will actually step through. And you saw the call up here, startup message. So it goes to startup message. And now it's walking through and it will print those out. When it's done, it goes back up. Here we go. Press enter to see step one. So that is going to appear down here. Press enter to, to see step one. Well, we're just going to do that and then hit submit. And we've got that piece in there. So now I'm going to go now back down to here, step one. And you'll see it keeps running through. So I will do the whole thing on the video, but um, play with this little baby. You're going to have to do a little hit enter, continue. Go to the next one, and it'll step through each one of those again. And again, it's printing them up here. So check this out, kind of play with it a little bit, and, uh, and and see what you think. It's just kind of a fun little little program. It's really simple, but it does step through a lot of different functions, and then it goes back and returns back, and then uh, you know executes an extra uh, the next part of the code. So check this one out. Uh, again, this is just section 530, just a quick review on that.